This is called the Black Coffee Collective, and uh, I will actually drink some coffee now to demonstrate this. I've been known not to. So, the Black Coffee Collective is meant to be a very pragmatic how-to series, which is going to focus on putting pragmatic information in the hands of people who want to use it to change society in positive ways. And it's really important that we're doing this kind of in the spirit of punk, right? Uh, this is a DIY project. We don't want to have like overproduced beautiful things laying down while telling you how it is. We want to talk about our own experiences and pass on information so that you can do it yourself. We don't want to like give speeches to you. We want to tell you how to make speeches. So you can make your own speeches. You know, we want to tell you, you know, what we've done, what's worked, what the problems have been, so you can make up your own decisions on how you want to do that. We want to put the fruit of experience in the hands of young people, especially today, because frankly, this has been a problem. I've been around long enough. I mean, I've only been doing this for about 20 years, but 20 years is a long time in activist terms. Um, an activist generation is like three or four years, right? And uh, you stick around for three or four years, you realize you're not, not seeing more than 10, 15% of the same faces you're used to. Everybody's always new. So people burn out. And this is something we should talk about, why they burn out and what we can do to make sure people don't burn out. Pacing yourself, making sure that, that you don't overload and overcommit is actually really important. But we'll talk about that later. Um, since activist generations are so short, knowledge gets lost and experience gets lost. And as a result, people have to reinvent the wheel. I mean, I don't know how many times I've been at direct actions and heard people have the exact same argument about violence versus nonviolence. And it's always framed in these polarized terms and people go through it and they make the same arguments and they make the same arguments and eventually after you know, thousands and thousands of hours of discussion, they almost always come to the same conclusion, which is some kind of version of diversity of tactics where you kind of got to allow for um, other people having different perspectives, but only within certain parameters or limits, right? This is what always happens, you know. So on the one hand, we've got to be in solidarity with people who choose other tactics, but obviously we're not for people who blow people up or shoot them. You know? Something like that it almost always is the end result. Now, that one is probably going to happen anyway. Sometimes people have to figure things out for themselves. But other things, that doesn't have to happen. One thing that happened in Occupy, and I, I, I think it's a terrible shame, is that we had hundreds of people who had lots of experience with civil disobedience, with directly democratic organizing, with consensus voting, all these other approaches. Well, years and years of it, who just burned out. And, and when we started something up around um, 2011, one thing that happened to me, I went around trying to call all these guys up and say, no, no, this is important. This is for real this time. This is going to be big, right? They need our experience. They need to know, you know how to organize street medics. They need to know how to organize legal support. They need to know how to run a meeting democratically, you know? You know, these guys are very enthusiastic, but they have no experience. You know, most of them are 18 years old and have been doing this for six months, right? Uh, so I couldn't get 95% of these people to do it. They're all like, oh, this is, oh, please don't make me do this again. <laughs> oh, I've done, I'm just so burnt out. It's so divisive. It's so difficult. I, 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 I'm getting in touch with my soul. <laughs> I need to recover. And, you know, I understand that, you know, because it takes a lot out of you, you know, to to fight the state, often to fight each other. I mean, it's hard. We live in a society which is designed to make you crazy, especially if you resist it. And I don't blame people for burning out, but I think it is important that we we don't lose that experience because things are learned that, you know, if they had been incorporated, would frankly have made a huge amount of difference. Things would have gone a lot faster, a lot swifter, a lot better if that knowledge had been available to young people who were trying to change the world. Now, we're not telling people what to do. We're not telling every generation has to reinvent these things, and they're always going to do it a little differently. Every country, they're going to do it a little differently. Every subculture, every ethnic group, 
every 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 particular group with their own particular experiences and problems is going to do it differently. However, we want to put that knowledge and experience at their hands so they can skip past a lot of the inevitable shit that like is going to slow you down and make their own decisions in an informed fashion. And 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 that's what we're trying to do. <laughs>